Hello everyone. Welcome to Miller's Language School. In this video, 10 popular common phrases in English in the USA. Learn 10 popular common phrases in English that you hear all the time in the USA. 1. I'd be happy to help. Example. You can choose something. I'd be happy to help. You have so little time. I'd be happy to help. She is very busy. I'd be happy to help. You can choose something. I'd be happy to help. You have so little time. I'd be happy to help. She is very busy. I'd be happy to help. Two, stay out of trouble. It means, don't do anything bad. Example. Do you want to go to the party? Stay out of trouble. I know you, you're a dreamer, but stay out of trouble. You work on very bad projects. Stay out of trouble. Do you want to go to the party? Stay out of trouble. I know you, you're a dreamer. But stay out of trouble. You work on very bad projects. Stay out of trouble. Three. I have a lot on my plate. It means a lot of work. Example. I can't go there. I have a lot on my plate. She doesn't work on it. She has a lot on her plate. They don't hear me. They have a lot on the plate. I can't go there. I have a lot on my plate. She doesn't work on it. She has a lot on her plate. They don't hear me. They have a lot on the plate. Four. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. It means, that's prevention. Of American English origin, this phrase used upon parting, and often jocularly, means behave yourself. Example Goodbye and good luck. Have a good time while I'm gone. But don't do anything I wouldn't. Goodbye and good luck. Have a good time while I'm gone. But don't do anything I wouldn't. Goodbye for this time. 
Don't do anything I wouldn't. Goodbye for this time. Don't do anything I wouldn't. I suppose that you are enjoying your school this year. Be a nice boy and don't do anything that I wouldn't. I suppose that you are enjoying your school this year. Be a nice boy and don't do anything that I wouldn't. Five. Stay in touch. It means, keep talking to me, stay connected. Stay in touch is indicating that the person wants to keep communicating so they will be close as friends. Example. I'm really going to miss you. You promise that you'll stay in touch? I'm really going to miss you. You promise that you'll stay in touch? Let's stay in touch. I'll email you whenever I can. Let's stay in touch. I'll email you whenever I can. I hope you stay in touch with me. I'll give you my contact information. I hope you stay in touch with me. I'll give you my contact information. Six. You're pushing your luck. Meaning, usage, taking too many risks. Explanation. To try too hard to get a particular result and risk losing what you have achieved. Example. She's agreed to help me, but I think I'd be pushing my luck if I asked her to help you. She's agreed to help me, but I think I'd be pushing my luck if I asked her to help you. If you say that someone is pushing their luck, you think they are taking a bigger risk. If you say that someone is pushing their luck, you think they are taking a bigger risk. Time to push your luck a little. Time to push your luck a little. Seven. You have your head in the clouds. It means, it is not being realistic. Example. Whether some of them still have their heads in the clouds after an exam, I don't know. Whether some of them still have their heads in the clouds after an exam, I don't know. She must have had her head in the clouds when she made the homework. She 
She must have had her head in the clouds when she made the homework. He'll never be able to run the business. He's always got his head in the clouds. He'll never be able to run the business. He's always got his head in the clouds. Eight. Let me know. It means, please tell me. Example. Please let me know your thoughts about this format. Please let me know what your thoughts on this. Please let me know your thoughts on this subject. Please let me know your thoughts about this format. Please let me know what your thoughts on this. Please let me know your thoughts on this subject. Nine. Make time for something. Example. Make time for what you love. Make time for yourself. Make time for them who value you. Spend time with those who value you and make themselves for you. Make time for what you love. Make time for yourself. Make time for them who value you. Spend time with those who value you and make themselves for you. Ten. Get back to me. It means respond to me. Example. I'll get back to you. It means, I'll be in touch with you at some future point. I'll get back to you. I'll get back to you. I can't answer your question right now. When I have a chance, I'll get the information you need and then I will communicate with you. I'll get back to you. I can't answer your question right now. When I have a chance, I'll get the information you need and then I will communicate with you. That's it. That video is now complete. By the way, I'm wondering if you can use any of these expressions in the comments. Let me know which one of these you would like to use. Thank you so much for learning English with me. If you liked this video, click on like to support the channel.
I'll say see you again for a new lesson on my YouTube channel. Bye.